All right, welcome back to another Daggerfall video. This is the second one in this Let's Play series. In the previous video, we did a some character creation. Full disclosure, this is not the same character that I created in the first video. It is almost identical. All of the starting attributes are the same. Primary, major, minor, and miscellaneous skills are all the same. Advantages and disadvantages are the same, with the exception of one less disadvantage for the tower shield. I did not do that. I don't know why. Um, that means that my hit point gain per level went from a possibility of 1 to 17 to a possibility of 1 to 16, I think. Or maybe I have that backwards. The other difference is that I actually got a little luckier on my roll. And so I have six additional points spread out through my attributes that I did not have be before. I know, a whopping six points. Is that why I did it? No. The reason I did it was for this. The Ebony Dagger. Yeah, in the last video I did get lucky in that I had the Wakas Wakazashi Steel Blade, which does 1 to 10 damage. But this is much better. It's an ebony dagger and it does 5 to 10 damage. And I really felt like I was sort of cheating myself out of this great newbie weapon. It's actually not a newbie. It's a decent weapon, but it's really great at, at an early level. You can only get it uh, by answering those questions and then getting a question in which you get to pick an ebony dagger. And I didn't get that question, so I went and re-rolled. So, other than that, and six additional attribute points, everything else is the exact same. Even my face is the same. So I'm going to go ahead and equip this. Put on my, well, my only piece of armor. Iron left pauldron for seven armor. So, I don't know how well it's going to protect me. I hope anything that wants to hit me will hit me in this arm. Uh, let me get a torch going so I can see. And before we start... I want to, I want to, I'm going to crawl through this dungeon just because I like the experience. However, I want to show you how quickly and easily you can get out of this dungeon if you don't feel like messing around with the newbie dungeon. So I'm going to show you that right now. First, I'm going to save and, okay, I did all of these. Um, I forgot what I was doing with this stuff. I was kind of messing around a little bit. I think what I'm just going to do is just delete these now because they're going to confuse me. Delete this. And delete all of these. I was messing around with set with settings a lot and just experimenting a little bit. Okay. All right, here we go. So this is how easy it is. Let me go ahead and equip my weapon. I'm not going to be stopping to fight, but I might whack on stuff as I run through. So I'm just going to run straight through to the end. It's really pretty easy. You can click to open these doors as you reach them. You don't have to stay there and click and wait for it to open. All I'm doing is following the corridor. That's all I'm doing. You just follow it. Naturally, avoid these doors. Just stay in the main corridor. When you hit these stairs around this corner, it's going to dead end. At the dead end, take the only door, and then the first door on the left, then up these stairs, jump up here, hit this lever, laugh at the skeleton, because he's too slow, and then right, and again, follow the corridor. Avoid the doors until you get to this torch. Turn right and then take the first door on your right. And here, look, they're fighting over there. They don't even notice me. And then take the exit on the right and you're out. That's less than a minute. Less than a minute to get out of here. Then you can enjoy the world of Daggerfall. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the crawl. I'm going to crawl through here, starting with this rat. I'm crouching because that reduces my movement speed in half and that will possibly increase my stealth. Dagger. Rat doesn't know I'm there yet. Now he does. 
Get some treasure over here. I have a bad habit of always checking the rats, but they never have any treasure. I'm gonna crouch again. So all skills are leveled up by using the skills. So if you want your stealth to increase, use stealth. I think you can increase your stealth even without crouching, but I think this helps to maybe trigger it. Now I know you can sneak up on a bat, but there's also an imp over here in this room and uh, you cannot sneak up on imps. They, they always know. Oh, now he sees me. I don't think bats have any treasure either. Oh, look at that. One hit. I got so lucky. They tend to do a lot of damage too. They're very tough early on. I'll grab the shirt even though I don't think I need a shirt. Actually, you know what? That's a mighty fine looking shirt. Let's go ahead and put that shirt on. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it's a vest, not a shirt. I don't think there's anything else in here. So, there's more killing to be done. Like this rat. Who does this rat think he is? I never did figure out exactly what these are. I think they're statues of the various gods. Which really means they're statues of beta testers because the gods are so named and created in honor of the beta testers. Oh, there's a guy right there or a girl. Is it too late to sneak up on him or her? There's some treasure over there, some heads. <laughs> You can equip directly from loot drops. You don't have to pick it up first. I'm not going to grab that because it's heavy. She's been busy killing people. These are fresh, but this one's been here for a while. I'll take that gold. Thank you very much. It's nice doing business with you. Now let me show you something. Once you've cleared the mobs a bit, then you can go back here to this magic corner and rest. Uh, there are other mobs that you can't see over there, above and maybe below. So I found that if you come back to this corner, you can usually rest. So I'm going to rest now and to get my health up and my endurance up. So you can see it increasing as the timer goes. Fully healed, five hours. I did not get interrupted. Stealth and short bl short blade have increased. All right, very good. So you'll see the increase in your skill during rest periods. I think you have to rest for a certain period of time too. Maybe it's three hours. I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing. But I've noticed if you do a short rest that you won't usually see that increase. Well, hello, Mr. Bat. Welcome to 1996 Pathfinding, where he doesn't know that he can just walk around the table and get to me. I want to try out... So I'm trained in mysticism and restoration, not destruction, but I do have a de destruction spell which is interesting. So you double click it and now it's ready. And then you just look at whatever you want to shoot and then you right click. Wait till it gets closer. I think I may have missed him. Then you're back to your weapon. But if you press Q, you'll reload the last spell you used. And then you can fire it again. And if I do it again, it won't let me because I don't have enough magic points or spell points in order to do it. Let's see if I can finish this guy off. Oh, that was easy. Red Poppy. I'm going to take this just as something to sell. This too, it's kind of light. That's light. Actually, I need this. I might as well equip that. Okay, so this is a short way out. I'm not going to go directly out yet. I want to fight some more stuff. Get some treasure. 
possible. I've checked all these boxes before. There's never... Oh, two of them in here? Where'd you come from? You hiding over here? You got yourself a little rat nest? I've checked these boxes before. I can never get them to open. I don't think there's anything in them. Piece of cake. Oh, look at this. Plus seven. Put that. This is also plus seven. Let's grab those. That's better than what I have on. And I'm just going to take that, I guess. If I get. Iron is the uh, least beneficial metal for both weapons and armor, I believe. But I like the way it looks. If I get a whole iron set, I could be the Dark Knight. Even though I'm more of like a roguish Nord. What's in here? Oh, there's some treasure in here. I didn't realize that. Oh, 75 gold. All right. I'll take that. Oh, okay. This just opens up into here. But I want to check this other door. Oh, my health is low. I didn't realize... Oh, come on. What's up with this bat? Die already. Um, I need to... Yeah, I can't rest here. There are enemies nearby. I'm going to go back to my safe spot. Is this the way? Yes, this is the way. I don't think I can rest here. Yeah, they're still... Even though you don't see the enemies, I think they're actually right above. You can kind of see, like, a bat or something clipping through there. So, I'm going to go back to the magic corner. I want to mention something. W when you rest, the amount of time it takes for your... Your stats to go up it depends on your medical skill. I mentioned in the previous video that there was a reason why I was intentionally leaving out or avoiding putting too many points in medical. That's because I didn't want my health, my stats to go up too quickly because I want to get interrupted. And why do I want to get interrupted? Because, look, I still I didn't get interrupted so weird. When I want to get interrupted, I don't. When I don't want to get interrupted, I do. But I did level up. So I'm happy about that. Uh, okay, let me finish explaining this and then I'll put some points in here. The reason I want to get interrupted is because oftentimes your rest will get interrupted by a humanoid type mob. And lots of times they'll have bows and arrows. And I want bows, and I want a bow, and I want some arrows, because that's the main weapon that I'm going for with this character. Even though right now it's been all blade, but that's pretty common in early game. Okay, so basically you can stand in this corner and wait, or rest, get interrupted, fight something, and you can just keep on doing that until you eventually you get a bow and some arrows. Um... Let's just go... How do I want to do this? I'm going to slowly start to creep my endurance up a little bit, but I want to still focus on agility and speed, because those are my primary attributes. Try to keep these the same. And then excess points I'll drop into endurance for now. And um, I wouldn't mind getting willpower and personality up to 50 or well will up to 60 and personality up to 50 look at that jumping stealth dodging running destruction short blade critical strike all of the things that I used are now improved but I now also have additional hit points so I can rest again 
And we're fully healed. I was kind of hoping for our humanoid mob, but that's okay. We go ahead and save this. Because it would suck if I died right now and had to redo all of that progress. You will die a lot in this game. Well, hello, Mr. Skeleton. So far, he's been parrying. You can tell by the sound effect. Oh, got him there. Got him there. Uh-oh. I can't be dealing with two of them. Maybe they'll fight each other. Let me see. Oh, come on up. Come on up. You guys need to fight each other. Come on. There we go. There they go. There they go. So I'll let them kill each other and then I'll go take on the survivor. Okay, the rogue died. Oh, that rogue might have some arrows. Let me go ahead and lower this now for a faster escape. Oh, can I sneak up on him? Skeleton. I think skeletons are vulnerable to blunt damage. Oh, what the heck? Where did that guy come from? This is like the battle arena in here. Can I get a... What'd you, what'd you guys stop? Keep fighting. Don't worry about me. Man, that skeleton's just killing everything. Um, let me... Let me load up this. Oh, there we go. He's probably almost dead anyway. Hold sure. Oh, some arrows. Alright, man, if I can just get... Oh! Wait, were those the arrows that the rogue shot into him? Let me see. Oh man, where's this bow and arrow? Um, alright, I'm just gonna take this to sell later, I guess. Look, I'm already over half of my encumbrance. This is why I wanted at least 90. Which I think is the max you can be at when you start this game. Because you, everything has weight and you fill up rather quickly all right well shoot still no bow it's all right though Hello. I know there's more stuff in here I've never crawled this this entire dungeon Actually, I just want to peek over here real quick. Can I rest? Nope. There's nothing in here. Is something going to jump out at me? Some treasure over here. Alright. 43 gold. I'll take that. Wait, how do you see... I guess you just... That's so weird. Oh, this is to drop gold, but how do I actually just see gold? Is that the same way to see how much gold you have? Couldn't they just put 518 there into the same gold? And then you click the number? No, I don't want to drop any. I need it. I need my money! So I can buy good stuff. Let's see what's over here. Okay, oh. I think this is where that orc was. He heard all the ruckus going out there and had to come out. I want to show you something in the next video. But not in this video. 
We'll take a peek in here. I think this just goes down to the lower level of that arena we were in. Oh, maybe, maybe some bows and arrows. Hello, do you have a bow, miss, that I can have? What? Yes, you do. Come on, come on. But she switched over. See, I think if they switch over, then you don't get it. I think once I get a bow, and then I shoot them f from a distance, and then they die, then I think they'll drop the bow. But that's kind of like a, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Um, let me grab that just to sell it. Oh, oh, oh. Someone coming out. Who's in there? <laughs> Oh, better boots. We'll take those. Thank you very much. And I already have one of those. Is it supposed to be wet in here? Those almost look like dirty windows. It's like all muddy. Can I rest? Nope. I kind of need to. Oh, what was in here? Nothing. It looks like nothing. What's over here? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna scum save simply because it's a given in Daggerfall, and there's something here that's gonna kill me. Oh, it's like a whole other section, isn't it? Just a dead end. I'm just clicking the walls to see if there's a secret door. This is a secret door right here. As seen from this side. Oh, this is the arena area. Interesting. It's over here. Nothing. A vacant apartment if anyone needs some place to live. <coughs> well, hello, rat. Okay, this is how you lockpick. You, uh, you hit. Um, okay, F1. You hit F1 to go into steel mode, and then you just right click the door. Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky. 61 in the candle, all right. Good timing on the candle, although I think the torch will give me greater light. All right, I can't believe I got lucky on that lockpick. I think you only get one shot at lockpick inside of a dungeon, but I think, and I think in towns that you can just keep trying. I think. Could be wrong. Uh, I guess I just go this way. I wonder if you get crushed if you stand there. I'll do an experiment. I'm gonna the video after this. I'm gonna come back in here, and I want to show you how to climb, repel, and hang. It'll be in the next video. It'll be just like a little short video. And I'll do an experiment too. Oh. I'll do an experiment too and see if this thing will crush you. Uh, I'm I really need I really need to rest, but I don't feel like running all the way back. I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna go ahead and exit the dungeon. Screen's getting darker because my health is so low. That's an option in the Daggerfall Unity. And I can hear the imp and the bat in here fighting each other. They're still alive. I 
probably got a backstab credit for that imp. One gold piece. I, don't, I think this is an ingredient, but I cannot remember what it's for. I don't remember the, what the icon is. I remember finding these, but I don't think I ever... I don't know if I ever used them or if I ever figured out what they're used for. Alright. Um, let me say one more time before I exit. I'll just save over. We'll do this. And oh, look at my health. Wow. It's like one little one little speck. I wonder if I was supposed to die back there. The god that I chose is the god that gives you sort of one last chance to not die. If you would normally be dealt a killing blow, sometimes that god will intervene and make it so that you don't die. And I think perhaps that is what, what's happened here. Otherwise, I would have been dead. So, here we go. Look at us. We have managed to escape the privateer's hold. If we go back in, all of the mobs we just killed will be back. Because that's the way it works in Daggerfall. Although, I think there is a mod that turns that off. But, I think you can also basically farm a dungeon by doing that. I'm not sure if the treasure stacks respawn or not. But if the mobs do, then you can just kill them over again and get, and get the stuff. If you felt like doing that. Look at this. So it's kind of hard to tell now because it's snowing and kind of hazy. And also the screen is flashing. Can I? Let me see if I can see if I can rest out here in the wilderness. Oh, it's nighttime now. Enemies nearby. a little bit more grab this I'll be selling this stuff that first opportunity so now it's still hard to tell because it's nighttime but these hills and mountains you see this is a mod called hills and mountains so is the sky it's called enhanced sky but it's not exactly obvious right now you'll see you'll see though if you haven't already seen in another video you'll see here. I'm going to go ahead and heal again to get the rest of my health up. I'm going to save. Um, oh, did I do two fives? I did. Um, I'll just say outside. So, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and call it right there. Uh, I meant, I'm trying to go for 20 to 30 minutes telling myself 20 minutes that way I don't go over 30 because you can never just stop right at 20 minutes you need to find like a good spot to stop and exiting privateers hold is a good spot so in the next video I'm going back in and as I mentioned before I'm going to show you how to climb repel and hang I think a lot of people know about climbing I don't know if everybody knows about repelling or hanging but I'm going to show you that and we're going to do an experiment and see if I get crushed by that platform that'll be in the next video thanks a lot for watching catch you then